Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and to this video for today I have prepared a misty fall painting and I will be using this Clairefontaine watercolor paper. It is 300 GSM or 140 pounds cold press 24 by 30 centimeters or 9.5 by 12 inches also 100% cotton. I will start with my sketch and just for the sketch I will mark the one third lower third of my paper and that's going to be my horizon line and also I will mark just a little bit right from the center the vanishing point, point for my road and also a couple of those lines that are on the road. Also the edges of the road marking a few of the lines where the bushes are going to be and also the one where the trees are going to be. Just to give you a heads up, this is going to be the first from my fall paintings in my pa fall painting series and I'm going to be doing a misty fall. So every painting will be having a mist and that is how I was thinking to, well, to say hello to the fall this year. So we will be painting a lot of mist and a lot of fall. When finished with the sketch, I've just mixed some ultramarine and sepia to create this beautiful dark gray color. And with a very, very, very light wash of color, I started off with my sky. And you can see how light wash I am using, just dipping my brush also into the water and spreading the paint slightly downwards to my entire painting. I also prevented and added a little bit of that gray to my road and while well, the painting is still wet because this painting is going to be loose so we will be painting wet on wet I picked up a little bit more of the paint and just stopping in where I marked those lines for the bushes I'm just stopping in and adding a little bit of the paint there and not one in one straight line but you can see how I'm just circling with my brush and with the tip then with the belly of my brush just adding paint here and there I do want it to make it look a little bit textured and I do want to have some diversity in that paint I don't want it to be one light even wash I tapped in also with the tip of my brush just above those bushes a little bit of the trees that are going to be looking like they are very very far away also with the same color I am painting in the road so those two colors are going to be basically all the colors we will be using. It's going to be a monochrome painting, but there is just one little detail that we'll be doing in the different color, but about that later on. So I'm just right now adding a little bit of the paint into the road and I will be layering. I will just add a little bit more layers everywhere. So from the bushes, the trees, the road, just layering the color to create the textures, the depth, because we are using just one color. We do need to layer and add those layers and with those layers just create the perspective and the depth. So for the road, as I said, I was just doing the lines going in this direction of the road. So just make sure when you do paint the road, not to do the horizontal lines, but this diagonal vertical lines, just try to follow the movement of the road and you will create that impression of the depth and the road that's going to go a little bit, well, actually far away in the distance in that mist and fog. I also picked up a little bit of the paint at the top just to make it look like there is some mist also there and we don't want it to cut it in one part but we do want some parts to that darker parts to be visible and go inside because the fog is not just one sharp line it does move and it's here and there you have a little bit more of the mist and in some places a little bit less and with this smaller brush I'm just creating the impression of the trees so that that is what exactly what they are they are impressions of the trees so I'm not trying to paint every single detail every single leaf and branch I'm just doing the impressions 
this is a loose painting so everything should be a little bit looser and just leave for the eye of the observer to create a full image. With this thinner brush, this is, you probably already know that, but this is a brush from Lebenson Brushes. I do love to use it for thin lines and for this liner work and also those wiggly little lines that look like a tree branches. I'm painting in those trees that are closest to us and they are going to be a little bit darker and maybe a little bit more detailed. And also same thing on the other side. Again, those layers, just adding layers here and there, adding details here and there. A little bit of the splatters with black because, you know, we love splatters. And the darkest colors I am using closest to us. So just make sure that the road, your bushes, your trees are darker as they are closer to you and lighter as they are further away. I left it to dry completely and then with this white gel pen I wanted to add that line on the side of the road but it was just looking too thin and I did want it to make it very 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 bright white so I switched to a white gouache and added that line with a white gouache with very very creamy consistency I used barely any water just a just enough water so I can pick up the paint but not really watering that gouache down and also the same thing this time I used a ruler to make sure my line is going to be straight but you can also tape it use a masking tape to make sure your line is going to be straight then a couple of lines on the in the center of the road and I do want to make make it look as though the road is quite flat we're not standing uh, high on the road but quite low so those two lines are going to be closer to the closer to each other and this one that is closest to us is going to look a lot further away from those two so that is how you will also create the impression that you are standing lower on the road not up on the road but a little bit lower on the road and also now I've picked up a little bit of the shiny gold and did some splatters unfortunately my camera stopped so you couldn't see the splatters but I just did splatter a little bit with that gold and also picked it up with my brush and smudged it onto the road just to create some shine on the road not really to make it gold but just really to create some shine so right now you can see how it all looks those splatters and the shine on the road and with that we'll be finishing off actually I did wanted to try something I used just a regular printing paper to see how this painting would look if we would make a sky a little bit uh, thinner if we would place the that horizon line in the center of our painting and I believe it looked very nice so you can definitely choose how uh, you want to do your painting as mine or you want to place your horizon line in the center. With that, I'll be finishing up this painting and this video. Just uh, make sure you click on your notifications on because uh, in next few days I will be also posting some news for you. So I do wanted, to, wanted you to, to read it and to prepare yourself. Make sure you are ready to go if you're up for my challenge that I'm planning to do and well guys thank you again so much for watching please if you have the time click on the like button comment it would really really mean a lot to me and to my channel and to this video and it does really mean a lot for YouTube creators when you like and comment videos it just makes it easier for us to move up in that rank and to be accessible to a little bit more people so I would really appreciate that a lot and if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel and guys thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time bye